I can't say it enough in terms of seeing women in STEM. Uh, that also is just like awesome and, and a big deal. To infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. What was yes. it like being able to say that? Oh man, iconic. And to know that my grandmother essentially had something to do with the creation of that, you know, to infinity and beyond um, in terms of my character, Izzy Hawthorne, of course. So I just felt very, very just like magical to be able to stay and be a part of that legacy. Yeah, that relationship between the, your grandmother and Buzz, it was like, oh my God, it's so heartwarming. It was just like, uh, it just really tugs at your heartstrings. So when it's the oh. granddaughter, you're like, oh man, it's like continuing that friendship, you know, like, or you're building up to that friendship. Yes, I feel the same exact way. I love that in the movie. And you're no stranger to um, voiceover work. I was looking at your, your long list of work and I was like, oh, she was prepared going in. She was like, was this like the next level? Like you got there, you're at the pinnacle, like you're in a Pixar movie. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, when you think Disney and Pixar in terms of animation, they are definitely up there in terms of just how long they've been around and the iconic legacy of work that they've been able to put out there. So I definitely felt like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm doing a Disney Pixar movie and it's actually a character that I grew up loving, like Buzz Lightyear. It was awesome. And I was just excited to like give it my all, you know. And what is it like representing? I mean, I was there, it felt very old school space, odyssey, adventure, but yet mm -hmm. you're seeing it modernized with like familiar faces and just reflecting reality. It was just like, wow, that's cool. Was that like, yeah. was it like that for you watching it or being part of it? I agree. Yeah, I feel the same exact way. I mean, even when you just think about female astronauts or women of color um, that have been astronauts in real time, I think seeing representation like that in those spaces, it is jarring, but it also is like, yes, that's what we should be seeing, um, you know, in the diversity of representing LGBTQ plus love on screen and seeing that in these spaces uh, is really important. I mean, just in general, again, you, I can't say it enough in terms of seeing women in STEM. Uh, that also is just like awesome and, and a big deal. Yeah, that was handled so delicately and so beautifully. And it's just like, if anyone has a problem, go, you know what? yourself yeah exactly <laughs> um and what was it like being was the process kind of the same with other projects um as far as the voiceover work you know you're alone in a booth and so forth i think yeah it was it was it was similar to other animated processes but at the same time i think disney and pixar they had their own way of going about it and working with angus who has been with pixar for years and seeing just how they kind of refine, you, you know, you go on the journey with them of this is the movie and they're just developing and, and discovering the movie along with you and you're creating your character along with them and then slowly it becomes more defined and refined as time goes on. And so that was a fun thing to see, um, you know, and really be able to grasp. And you're having a great year just looking at your list. You're going to be in Nope coming up and you just had a great year. I mean, is, does it feel like you've arrived like Yes, I'm getting a lot of work and it's in the various genres, not just like being pigeonholed into one. Um, I feel like, you know, this is my 20th year doing it now and I just I'm happy to still be loving it um, the way that I do. I think I've been blessed to have a lot of really amazing moments throughout my career from doing Healing the Bee to having my show True Jackson VP to, you know, just a lot of different moments that I've always felt like wow, you know, I, I, I can look at myself and say, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I didn't expect to do this. And I look, I feel the same way about this film. I feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I love Buzz and I can't believe I'm in light year. And so I think um, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful to have something that I love and to continue to be gagged by um, how many other creative stories I can be a part of telling. 